What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial on .NET Core with MongoDB. If you haven't watched uh, the previous tutorial on how to set up MongoDB and be able to access it with RoboMongo, do so now, I'll put the link up in the video. As you can see, I already got it set up. It's uh, running, got a collection, to-dos, uh, with no documents. So, there we go. Going to start a new project, ASP.NET Core project. And it's going to be empty. And then we go to the NuGet manager. And there we have to set a setting called um, include pre-releases so we go to manage packages and there you can see include pre-releases we go to browse search for mongodb mongodb driver now this is important you select 2.3.0-rc1 no caddy i accept Now, there we go, we've got MongoDB running. We're gonna set up a simple MVC. So we're gonna add services, add MVC. I don't like it. When you do Alt Enter, at the end of the line, it should just pick up that you want to resolve uh, this symbol instead of having to move back. Anyways going to use app use mvc with the, the default routes takes a while for it to show up but it should work use default route there you go so next up what are we going to do we want a model, a model that will represent a to-do. So we are going to add a class. It's going to be a to-do model. It's going to have an ID and it's going to be an JSON ID because this is uh, MongoDB and Mongo works not with JSON but with JSON. Some minor differences, don't ask me what they are. Again, I'm a user, I'm a newbie. I just wanna get things working. I wanna be able to make some fun personal projects and all the professional stuff that'll come later. But for now, let's just have fun. So we have a task. And it's got a uh, to-do ID, a title, a completed boolean, and for completeness sake, let's say it can have a daytime or not. And it's gonna be not a deadline, I hate deadlines, but we do have an optimal line, which is a line that will be, or a date that will be optimal for the to-do. To be completed so there we go now we're going to add another directory it's going to be the services directory in which we will add a mongodb service now in this file we are going to create a private imongo collection made of to do models. We're going to call it to do collection and we only get it. Meaning we have to initialize the property from the constructor. I don't, I don't like this, all properties, all stuff above the constructor. Anyways, this isn't really setting uh, the to-do collection properly. 
what we need to do is create a Mongo client. And it's going to be a new Mongo client based on a database URL. Mm. String database name, string collection name, string database URL. And then we are going to add a Mongo database and it's going to be using the Mongo client, get database, database name. Now the collection will be Mongo database get collection based on the to-do model and the collection will be called the collection name. Now we'll have two public functions here. They are going to be async functions returning void. It's going to be a to-do function which takes a to-do model called the to-do we're going to await inserting it into the to-do to collection and then we're going to insert one async to-do and that's that now we're going to make a public async task which returns something namely the to-do model list and we're going to go call it get all to-dos Do's will be a new list of to-do models and then we have all the documents We're going to await it from the collection We're going to use find async using new based on documents this is just uh, basically saying Find everything, use no filter, but you have to provide a filter. So you just say a new JSON document, which is basically in JSON language, just, uh, it's hard to, hard to show, but it's just this. Okay. So we got variable with all the documents from the to-do collection right now we will await all documents for each async document and we are going to add the document to our to-dos then return the to-dos okay that's it for our mongodb service um, Really nothing, uh, nothing special. Wait a minute, what's up? Not quite sure why there's this red scribbly thingy. Try to build it. No errors. A oh. little bit buggy, yes, it's all right. But I don't like it. Anyways, at this point we need to know the address of our MongoDB server. So, we already uh, used the guide. For us the address is uh, this number, which we got from DigitalOcean. So, now we can create a new directory, the controllers directory. We're going to add a new controller using the ASP.NET Web API controller class template. We're going to call it to do's controller. Um, we only need the get. We can forget about the put and the delete. It's going to be simple. We are going to return an IE numerable from to do models. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to make the DB service. 
it's going to be a new MongoDB service, which takes three variables, the database name, the collection name, and the database URL. This is a little bit strange. It takes MongoDB uh, colons, you call them in English, slash slash, and our IP of the MongoDB server. And then it's just variable all to do's is MongoDB servers get all to do's. Nothing more to it. Uh, actually, let's do it like this. We're going to return a task and it's going to be a JSON result. Um, we need to await this. Maybe that's why it was getting this this scribbly thing. Anyways, we can return the JSON of all to dos. There we go. In the post, we again create this MongoDB service, and we are going to await the MongoDB service, where we will insert a to-do, which will be the to-do, and the to-do we will get from the to-do model from the body and it's going to be to do and of course this will be async so we need to do a async task there we go we set up our controller we got the model we got the surface I st i'm still not sure why this is giving an error but it seems to be building fine so not complaining. Let's start it up. Now we're going to use the program Fiddler. Always right click, filter now, filter face up. Uh, filter this. Let's keep it a little bit clean. Okay, so what we're going to do is make an post request of content type application JSON and we're going to post it to localhost 5000 on the API of to do's. In the body, let's just write a simple thing, title, just the title only execute that model state is failed so it seems we successfully received this in the to-do controller let's check that set a breakpoint execute it again analyze the to-do model completed false optimal line hasn't got an optimal line uh, the title is just the title, and the to-do idea is interesting, it's just totally empty, but as we will see, continue, we can go to RoboMongo, view the documents, and we got nicely formatted object IDs. So, we enter two documents already, let's try some more. Back to Fiddler. Uh, let's make a request with a title called a to do with an optimal completion date, which will be the optimal date. Uh, let's just take a random date 10 11. There we go. Content length. 
let's remove that. Let's look at the to do. Uh, didn't get the optimal line, so something went wrong. Oh, we called it optimal date. It's optimal line. So there we go, we got the date in our C sharp format. Great. Uh, let's try another thing. Um, another title, a to do that is already completed. We said completed to true. Remove the content length, execute it. Analyze the to do, see that it's completed, no optimal line, all looking good. Continue, open up RoboMongo, view the documents, four documents inserted. Uh, the one with just the title, the one with, oh, this was the wrong one, delete this, the one with an optimal line, which is a date, completed, nicely a boolean, and here we have no optimal line, but a completed to do, and the title is the com to do is already completed. Okay, so the next step will be to retrieve these documents from the web API. So we go back to our fiddler. Change this to get, remove the body, keep the content type to application JSON, that is important, execute it, and we can analyze it, and here we see, this was the request over here, we got a 200 response, we can see that we have the three documents first one with just the title, the second one with an optimal line, and the title with optimal completion date, blah, 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 the to-do, nicely unique object, so you can even, uh, whatever you want to do with it, but it's there. Uh, again, complete the true optimal line, blah, blah, blah. So it's all working great. To summarize, we created a model, and it's a model that's a really simple model, but we can easily post it to the web API. .NET Core puts it in our nice uh, MongoDB database. We do a simple GET request to the API, and we get all the objects nicely formatted in JSON. Um, we just did it with, with Fiddler, but of course you can also do, um, let's see, API to-dos. And there we have our to-dos. Uh, by the way, th this is just an add-on to Firefox, so it's a little bit nicer formatted, so. There you have it. All I wanted to show you, easy way to get your data into RoboMongo and out of RoboMongo, I should say MongoDB, but you know, you gotta use RoboMongo if you wanna manage your MongoDB. That's it for today. See you next time. It was a long tutorial, but a good lesson. Bye-bye.